a big bird, five and three, ending in T? Uh, tit. A? Great tit. Well, don't you normally associate that with birds? Perhaps I should never be quite like that. No, I don't think so, somehow. Sunhill Police Station. Sorry, sorry, Lord. Uh, yes, uh, was anything taken? When did you discover the... It's truth. What's the form? Breaking. Harvey Street, some big knob. Oh, come on. No, uh, there's nobody in CID. What, nobody? Nope. A Sarge, you ain't seen Mr. Galloway, have you? No, I want to. Break in Harvey Street. Anybody hurt? I don't think so. Call up uh, Edwards, he should be fairly near. But he wants somebody from CID. Does he? Oh, that's good. We'll have to have who we've got, won't he? Where is he? Lord Muck? There's not somebody. Hey? Eh? That's what you said, Vasto Smythe. Well, he must be somewhere. Who's Sarge? Galloway, who the bloody hell do you think? June. See if there's a car in the yard, will you? Sure. You put out a call, and I'll better phone the boozer. Well, it was useless, but it wasn't his fault, was it? It was a job. Right, Cheese car. and onion. All that's left, Mr. Galloway. Anything, Jules. I'm bloody starving. Stick a couple of wallets on my plate with you, Jules. So, anyway, Gub, this also I was telling you about, right? The geezer. Are keeping you busy then, Roy? Third time this week. You know what they say, don't you? All work and no play. Ah, oh, no. Couldn't give us a start, could you, Sadie? Come back about half past four, when old Misery's having his afternoon kip. Nice thought, but it's food I mean, Sadie. What do you mean, where have we been? We've only just left the Nick. Yeah? Right, right away. Bloody coppers. Units, this is 39. We're uh, stuck in heavy traffic. ETA, five minutes. God willing. This little bleeding, what's his name when he's at home? Find out. You bastard. I'm not that trendy oh, young get designer no. or something. Just isn't my day. Oi! someone else's drum, we'd still be back in the pub and a nice little drink. I suppose he gets special treatment being a lordship and all that. Only thinks he does. 50 quid or 50 grand. It's all the same to me. Then why all the hurry, Gov? Because I don't want to give them bloody wooden tops a chance to put the boot in, that's why. Come on, Gov. Why you're on so common the CID, you'll learn a thing or two, Dave. Take it from me. Okay. Right, Eric. 
you go with him. Who's in there, son? Uh, Sergeant Cryer and a few others upstairs, uh, and the Socko's out the back. What you supposed to be doing, eh? Door to door, sir. Well, you want to move your arse in, don't you? What's wrong with him? Indigestion. Always the same after he's had a big meal. I can assure your lordship, everything possible is being done. Oh, here is the inspector. Inspector Galloway, Lord Barstow Smythe. How long will it take you to recover my jewellery, Inspector? His lordship's necklace. I told his lordship, uh, Lord, he had things in motion. Yes, um, quite right. A description's been circulated throughout the Metropolitan Police District and um, Detective Constable Lytton here has alerted Interpol. Oh, yes, Gav, your lordship. Uh, everything possible is being done. It, it is not the cash that was stolen. The 500 pounds is, is neither here nor there. It's that particular piece of jewellery. It's sentimental value more than anything. It was presented a by photograph? my mother. Robin. Sean's description of the necklace. Oh, yes. Yes, now you can't have mentioned it, Inspector. It, Cynthia, it was, uh, it was valued just last year by Sotheby's. 45,000 pounds. Now a photograph, you say? Yes. Yes, I might. Um, would you gentlemen excuse me for a moment while I pop downstairs? Go with him. Get a detailed list of the property. Value, anything else. Find out if he's had any callers, OK? Right, Gov, leave it me. Where'd he pick her up from? I thought the aristocracy had taste. Not exactly so, these, that's for sure. I was drugged up, mate. Never turns you on, Roy. Hey, what took you so long? Lytton. He's a lousy driver. Right. So what's the SP? Coming through a back window downstairs. Came straight up here. Didn't touch the other rooms. Knew where to look, did they? Not really. Small ship's got some tasty gear downstairs. They could have had a field day. No alarms? None. Any suspects? No. It was down the street. Every house? Yeah, well, you'd have to do it again. There's a nosy cow next door, on the first floor. If anything's happened in this street, she would have seen it. You can bet your life. You never miss a trick, Roy. That's what it's all about, Sarge. I'm sure no one misses his curtains. I've got a nice set of jemmy marks on the window, Gov. You can get the two like and match them up. It's a perfect set. Any dabs? Footprints? No, not yet. Glove marks? No. Can't you do better than that? I mean, you're supposed to be an expert. Boy, I've got to get back to the neck. Do you think you manage without me? Yeah, well, I can always manage without you wooden tops when I'm busy. Oh, yeah, superstar. How do you spell that then, Gov? Spell what? Objet. What do you call it? Objet d'art. Well, Inspector, you come to any conclusions? Could have been some kids, I suppose. And again, could have been someone wanting to look that way. Now, is there any... Is there anything I can Dream do to... over here. She couldn't have nicked it, could you? Spectre. She couldn't nick her own fanny. Yes, well, um, there's not much more we can do here for the moment. We've got everything we need, haven't we, Lytton? Yes, Gov. Right. We'll be in touch. If you remember anything else, you know the number. Inspector, it is imperative that I have that necklace back by the weekend. You see, my mother would simply We wouldn't want to upset die. your mother, would we? No. You can rest assured, we'll leave no stone unturned. Constable.
one there, Gav. Back to the nick. Put it in the book. And it's down to you, my old son. Forgive me if I'm wrong, Gav, but shouldn't something like this be down to you? It is. But I'm at court all day tomorrow. So I'll go have someone doing the running about, haven't I? It's called Delegate. You'll learn. Thanks a lot, Gav. I'm going straight to court tomorrow. So I want to see those burglary reports in my desk by the time I get back, OK? Yes, Gav. Object. O. O. B. J. How's the comment to the superstars going then? What do you want? There's a rather nice young lady at the front desk. Says she wants to see the man in charge. Now, I told her the Crusoe had gone home, I did. But his assistant, I said, he's something else. And you're in luck? Because he's working late. <laughs> Soon be back on the beat, boy. Crosby, the advertiser. Do you see Lytton? Yeah, well, sort of acting in DC. Dave, three friends. I was told you could fill me in with a few details about Lord Barstow Smythe's robbery. Yeah, well, it's a little bit too hot for anyone round here to handle, you know, with an insurance tag of 45 grand, easily identifiable, probably halfway to Saudi by now. Any suspects? Descriptions? Oh, I can't disclose things like that, can I? One of my jobs are for. Is there anything I can put down, Dave? Something to make up a few lines? Well, how about... We expect an early arrest. I bet you got that straight out of Galloway's box. You know Galloway? <laughs> I know Galloping Galloway, all right. And believe me, I have an editor just as me. Thanks, anyway. If you get anything interesting, give us a ring, Dave. I have been known to buy the old bill of drink once in a while. <laughs> Here, you don't type by any chance, do you? No, the one opposite the town hall, look. Uh, Fenton Road. Go. Like, yeah. see that black mark is That is the red line. Yes, madam. Well, if you'd like to drop in the document sometime in the week, a copy will do. We'd be very much obliged. I'll have to get the old man to come out and sort it out himself. Send in me. As if I'd got the bleeding time. Morning, Al. So who's got his name in the paper then? All part of the job, Jimmy boy. Just routine. Expecting an early arrest, are we, PC? Hoping to be DC Litton. <laughs> Litton of the yard, eh? More sir? like bird brain. Coffee's up. Yeah, well, it's real police work, Sarge, isn't it? I mean, not like going around sticking tickets on everything that moves, know what I mean? Yeah, but if I was you, police constable Litton, I'd start dusting my helmet. Because when Detective Inspector Galloway hears that you've been elbowing him out of the headlines, they'll be held to pay. Officer in charge. <laughs> Galloway's blue eyed boy. In distress, are we? Yeah, well, just you don't wait and see. <laughs> <laughs>
CID, Detective Constable Lytton speaking. Hello? Who is it? Oh, never mind about that, Chief. How would you like to get your hands on that piece of Tom from Harvey Street, Joe? What's wrong with that? Oh, leave it off, Chief. Diamond necklace, valued at £45,000, it says here. Too bleeding right, I would. Meet me in the park, by the pond, ten minutes, all right? On your title, there's no deal. Got it? OK, but how will I know who you are? Come on, though, did you, Chief? Yeah, just as you said, Gav. Funny things, ducks. Only want you in the something in it for them. Like people, I suppose. Yeah. I'm sure you're right, Gav. Didn't it, then? Pig Galloway, no. Did anything, did you? Did just what you said. Seen it all before, you know. Takes all the glory, that man. Right, pig. Yeah, what about the jewellery? On the blower, you said you knew where it was. Oh, no. no I didn't say that, Sam. <laughs> you old Bill always wanted to put words in people's mouths. But you said... I said I might be able to find out. Now, that's a... Uh, Different kettle of fish, Chief. You're looking for a couple of youngsters. We are. Can't get rid of it. Nobody wants the aggro. Probably throw it in the canal, they will. Little sods. Do you know where they are? Where they live, hang out, anything. Suppose I could find out, though. Well, that's what you got me down here for, isn't it? The gear. Well, there's got to be an earner in it for me, see. You know that, don't you? Nothing for nothing, know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean, all right. But look, I can't make any promises. But we'll see what I can do, Gav, OK? I can't live on promises, Chief. If I'm going to put myself about, I want some real money. In advance. Today. Insurance money? Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, they're a bit iffy on things like that, insurance companies. They pay out with walls and conviction only. Well, you want that bit of time, don't you? Want to see the villains up in front of the beat? All that glory, detective, little crap, little, whatever you like. Pick it over, Chief. I don't know. And for all that, all I want's a grand. Yeah, when the little gang goes down to do its porridge, 
Look at the balance. Well, that seems fair enough, Chief, in anyone's book. <laughs> Look, insurance people are businessmen, aren't they? Hmm? Lay out a grand, get 44 back. Can't be bad, can it? Know what I mean? <laughs> now, this is what you've got to do, Chief, if you want to get that gear back. Yeah. You've got to find out who the insurance company are. Right. Then bring them up and ask to speak to their assessor. The assessor? Yeah. Now, we Yeah, I understand. No. I need a good kick up the arse. But the appointment was originally... I'm talking to you, lad. It's 10.30. The messages haven't been filed. You haven't booked on. Mm. Booked out. Your the uniform is screaming. Yeah, that's what we're trying. Mike and I had to make our own coffee. Didn't we, Mike? Well, can't we uh, meet tough, lad? Hey. Before the case comes. comes. Look, Sarge. I need your help. Look, I need some advice, right? It's about what informal. You Let's take well, it stage by stage, shall we? First of all... Have you looked it up in the good book? Oh, I know what it says in the training manual, Sarge, for Pete's sake. Mm. But this is something different. Nothing can be that different. That book covers every aspect of the game. It's your Bible, little. It's never wrong. It even tells you what to do when you get caught in a car without paper. Section 23, para 16. An informant is a dangerous breed. Treat with extreme caution. Now stop taking the mickey, Sarge, and don't wire me up. I'm asking for your help. It would seem to me, young man, that you don't need any help from anybody. You don't like the assignment, you shouldn't have applied. Ah, I'm on my way, sir. Mike! Mike! Stupid. Stupid. Just bloody stupid. You oh. wouldn't believe it, Dave. No, no, I wouldn't. No, no, Second no. time in two weeks that bloody solicitor's changed your uh, point. What a shame. Look, look, that's Mike, ridiculous. Mike, 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 I just need ten seconds of your time. Gotta keep your eye on the small print, Dave. You know what those devious bastards are like? Yeah, sure. Sorry, Sorry mate, I got a dash. Oh, come on, Mike, he's phoning back at me, Dan. I don't know what to tell him. Well... Tell him to call back at three. Three? I'll be about by then. Give me a hand. By the way, if anybody wants me, I'm at Rosen and Sons. Official business. Oh, Mike. By the way, Dave, take it easy, OK? Mike! Uh. There's a few jobs down on the book to you, Lytton. You better sort yourself out before Galloway gets back. Get away. Why do you have to be in court today? Who does? <laughs> Yeah, City and Global Insurance. Yeah, I want to speak to Mr. Wynn Standing, please. It's the uh, claims department. Yeah, sure, sure. Morning, sir. Oh, uh, hiya, Bob. How's that young lad of ours? Who? Oh, Lytton. Enjoy making tea for the CID, is he? Mm. He's a bumptious young bugger, isn't he, eh? Two things go together, Ted. We're all young once. Uh, I wasn't. I wish people wouldn't bung fag ends in here. I know, it makes them so difficult at night. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Yes, I appreciate that, Mr. Wynn Stanley, but my informant sees it differently. Yeah, well, you see, he reckons, why should he put the job up? That's recover the necklace and the villains of the piece get nicked. And then have to wait, say, 12 months for a conviction before he gets any dosh. I know it's against company rules, Mr. Wynn Stanley, but my man looks upon it as a kind of act of good faith. You know what I mean, a thousand pounds now? Yeah. Look, it's the only lead we've got. If we don't recover the necklace today, well, who knows? Well, you do what you think fit, Mr. Wynn Stanley, but it's no skin off my nose if my man takes it into his head to ring his lordship himself and tell him that he nearly got his necklace back, but the insurance company wouldn't put up a thousand pounds. You tell me, Mr. Wynn Stanley, but if I can't pick up this lead, then your company could be well over 40 grand down the toilet. Plus, we lose the villains. Yeah, I know it's a vicious circle, Mr. Wynn Stanley, but... That's how it goes. 
Yeah, well, uh, you do that, Mr. Winstanley. You call me back within an hour. I shall await your call. CRD. Oh, Mr. Win Stanley. Wise decision, Mr. Win Stanley. I'll be in touch. CID. Yeah. Uh, I can make your terms. Nice. Well, you've got yourself a deal, Chief. I'll ring you back within the next couple of hours. I'll only say it once. Time and a place. Then it's down to you. OK? Lovely bit of gear. Pity.
That'd be 15p, please, love. Right, love. Thank, Thank you. Nah. Do you want a Kimber? Looks more grumble. Slappers. Yeah, running back in the season. Podgy? <laughs> nah. Podgy's just fat as a pig. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll tell you what. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go on, make it out, you know. Boys, honey, enjoy me. It's all right if you want it, you know. Take me, for instance. Got this old house. Fall in the pictures. Get on, stay. Man from the council said, you got to make a start, Chief, or you lose your grant. Well, told him about my old back. Wouldn't stand up to it, I said. Gives me jippy does. Bit of help, he said, that's what you need. Do it in no time. Well, told him. Forty pounds a day I'd be willing to pay. Well, I mean, it'd be worth it, wouldn't it? If I could find a couple of lads, well, as it happens, like yourselves, I could put up an extra tenner that's if you start a day, of course. What do you say, lads? Right, lads. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and get the brushes and paints and meet you there, say, three on the dot, OK? Right, mate. Lovely. Don't be late. <laughs> or oh, there'll be a penalty clause. <laughs> Done. Oh, one other thing. We'll start in the basement. I'll leave the door open for you, OK? Come on, you bastard, ring! Litton. Right. I want you! Hello, hello, hello. What have we got here then? at any future time while you are in custody, should you so desire. I don't know what you dragged me in here for, officer. That gear's got nothing to do with me. I've never seen it before. If it is decided to delay your request for notification to be sent, you will be so informed. Honestly, I don't believe this is happening to me. Can I at least go out of the toilet? Oh, hoping to get rid of something, are we? Flush it down the loo, perhaps. I'm wise to all those tricks, my son. <sighs> I've been down the pits all my life, you know. I'm going to wet myself in a minute if you don't stop messing about. Mm. Blue. Hello. Clover. Wool. You make a lot of those inside. Desperate dance. They're all raving puffs, you know. Oh, I like that. Come on. Diamond. You're not doing yourself any favours by not talking to you, you know. Your mate's trouble. He's got four. <coughs> Silver. Oh, hello, Gov. Gold. Didn't expect you yet. <coughs> no. Trying to get in touch, but. Uh... Had it off then, Luton? Yes, Gav. Had a bit of luck as it happens. Better come up to my office and tell me all about it, my son. If it's not too much trouble. 
Yes, Gav. Oi. Sign. He's practically bursting with it. Wouldn't you? I would. Oh, yeah, I credit where it's due. It's only that I, I wish you'd seen there's something more to the job than merely CID. Merely CID only, I'd say. Yeah, but that's my point. Only CID. Big Wally. Do you think they'd take him on? And CID? Depends on Galloway. Well, it stands a fairly good chance now. Oh, how'd it go at court, Gov? I must have tried a million times to get through, honest, Gov. Close it. I did the best I could. Use me initiative, just like you'd always told me. Try to put myself in your place, you know. Try to think like... Well, you know what I mean, Gov. You did well, my son. <sighs> you really know how to put someone through. That doesn't mean to say I'm pleased. I'd like to have been putting the picture a little earlier. Know what I mean? I don't like to be the last to know. Remember that? Yes, Gav. Now. Let's go right through it from the beginning. Sure, Gav. Cheers. Well, I put the word out on the streets. Got in touch with a couple of me snouts. Word soon snouts, got you say? Didn't know you had any, Dave. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, it's a bit sensitive. Don't like to put it about, if you know what I mean. I mean, this geese is a bit... Well, you know, it's... Uh, it'll get on the blower, but to go out and make... So he got on the blower, did he? This snout? Yeah. You were saying? Well, um... Excuse me, Gav, there's a, there's a Mr... Wynne Stanley? Yeah. Tell him I'll be out in a moment. Well, actually, Gov, he's come I to... I know see... he's here to see. Now tell him to wait. Yes. Sir. Gov, I can explain, honest. Listen, my old son. And listen good. If you thought for one moment I was naive as to believe that load of old codger... Gov, I can explain... Shut up and listen! One chance. That's all you got, my old son. Just one chance. Now, let's have it straight. No more of that crap you've been feeding me. Because if what's happened is what I think's happened, you and that insurance man out there are in big trouble. Believe me. Litton of the yard, eh? Must have something about him I haven't sussed. Ah, he's all right underneath. Yeah, underneath what, might I ask? His charm? I thought you quite liked him underneath. Yeah, you're a bloody wally and all. Come on, it's this way. On your face, huh? There's only two ways you're going to get out of here, my son. The choice is yours. Tomorrow morning, by prison van, with so many charges round your neck, they want to throw away the key. Do you understand? Because that, sunshine, is when reality comes. When you meet all those other strong, silent types on remand like yourself. Only, uh, they ain't silent anymore. They're screaming the place down, protesting their innocence. But nobody listens. Nobody cares. Everybody's heard it all before. It's too bloody late then, my son. It's too bloody late, do you hear? Now, listen, my son. I know how you feel. You've been set up. I know that. But if you think there's honour amongst thieves, you're sadly mistaken. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people out there doing time that'll prove you wrong. 
Understand? Now, all I want, young man, is the truth. Nothing else. The geezer said he wanted some decorating done. Said he had a grant from the council. What was I supposed to believe? Next. Right. What are you going to do? Beat me to death with a beaner? <laughs> now, listen, smart ass. Believe it or not, I'm here to help you now. If you want to be a comedian, well, once you're doing your bit of porridge, and then we'll all have a laugh, and I'll be the one to laugh the loudest, all right? All right, you made your point. So what do you want to know? No, I don't want to know. No, 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 no. Mr. One more word out of you, Sunshine, you'll be on the charge seat as well. Now sit back down and shut up! I really do think that this is very important. Right, read it. James Rowland O'Hara. Better take a seat, Linton. You'll need it. Read it, Sunshine. Let's hear it. O'Hara is a dangerous informant. Method. Seeks out young and experienced officers. Tenders bogus information, then claims insurance rewards by setting up innocent youngsters with stolen property he is unable to place. Carry on. Known variously as the Major, the Reverend Kelsey, and the Honourable James Faversham. Enough? I didn't know to go honest. Do you realise how close you are to conspiracy to pervert the course of justice? You and that insurance man out there? You get your name in the papers, all right? I didn't know, Gov. If you come out of this without a scrape, be a miracle. Gov, you've got to do something, anything. There's two things going for you, my son. One is you've got the gear back. The other is, I know how our hour is, mine works. What time's the meet? Four o'clock, in the park. Is she wearing a beard? No, he had a little moustache. White stick? No, he had a little dog. I think it's time I renewed my acquaintance with Mr James Roland O'Hara. tricks again, Jimmy boy. You're going to come do the business then, or what? Yeah, yeah. The arresting officer is that bloody trogger you on. Oh, sentimental man at heart, aren't you? Every man's entitled to learn by his mistakes, Bob. Once. Oh, life is full of grief. Yeah, especially when you've got a bleeping wooden top on attachment to you. Okay. Let's see if Chummy will put his hands up to it then, shall we? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Have I joined you? Hello, Skip. What you done with our boy Wonder then? He's taking a statement. What? Still? Well, he does write slow. But O'Hara surely never give him a cough. Don't listen to the little lady. Why wouldn't he? Well, with his form. I wouldn't know, darling. Don't with somebody like O'Hara, as you can't tell whether he's coughing or laughing. Poor old Dave. Been set up by a dodgy snapped first time round. <laughs> it's happened to better than him. He'll learn. Quite quickly, I'd say. Fancy the old boy doing a runner, eh? 
Yeah, I just said hello and he was off. What price would you get on him for 100 yards, eh? At the same price I'll get on you, I reckon. Linton did the right thing for you then, Roy. Ah, he's not a bad lad, Bob. Apart from some of them clothes he wears. Learned his lesson, though. Not too soon, I hope. For your sake. Why is that? Well, if he learns too soon. Well, that means, don't you? Oh, what? You're gonna have to start buying your own booze. <laughs> <laughs> Cup of tea, will you, Lil? Okay. Cheers. Listen to this. Chief Superintendent Lytton of the Yard told me recovering diamond necklaces is all in a day's work for a young policeman. In fact, according to Chief Commissioner Lytton, <laughs> really a day goes by without. Very funny. I've just read about you. Yeah, so I heard. <laughs> Up for accommodation, are we? Wouldn't really want it. Satisfaction in restoring the property to its rightful owner is its own reward. <laughs> One of the pleasures of police work. Serving the public. You know what I mean? Of course. 